Hi guys, this is Diamond Dog Training, and I'm Joyce. How to teach my puppy not to jump. Boy, this is a question I get a lot when I'm doing private lessons in people's homes. I walk into the home, puppy jumps on me, the owner moves the puppy away and says to me, how can I teach my puppy not to jump on everyone? This is the topic today. In this video, we're gonna show you how to teach your puppy to keep four feet on the floor, to sit, to be petted, and not to jump up. If you're enjoying watching my videos, please subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss any of my new episodes. Why do puppies, dogs jump up? They want our attention. They wanna get closer to our face. They wanna lick our face. They wanna give us affection. Here's a picture of a shaggy puppy jumping straight up at the owner to get close to their face. Now, I always said if we were down on all fours, puppies and dogs wouldn't have to jump up at all. They'd just walk over and lick our face. Remember that dogs so want our attention that they will take negative attention rather than no attention at all. And so when you use your hands, to push the puppy down, you're actually giving them attention. We have to teach your puppy to keep four feet on the floor. And how do we do that? So if puppies and dogs will jump up to get our attention, even negative attention, then the best way to stop the jumping up is to give them no attention at all. Or even better, give them lots of attention when all four feet are on the ground. We call this four on the floor. Here's a picture of a lovely cute beagle puppy being petted and petted and petted and just told how wonderful the puppy is because all four feet are on the floor, on the ground. And we want our puppies to know that before they jump up, we're there and we're petting them. Here's a picture of a woman petting a Pomeranian puppy. She's knelt down so she's close to the puppy and she's petting and petting and stroking and stroking. Let the puppy know the best thing you can do is keep your feet on the ground and you'll get lots of attention, lots of petting. Here's a picture of a white puppy. Even though the little boy is sitting on the ground, puppy's not jumping on it because the puppy has learned that when he keeps four feet on the ground, everybody pets him. And you can see the little boy petting the puppy. So what happens when you stop petting them and you stand up? Well, here's the little black terrier jumping up, wanting more attention. So you stand up, you fold your arms, you ignore the puppy, and you wait for that instant when they have four feet on the ground. And here's the little black and tan puppy, four feet on the ground, and the owner is petting and stroking. And notice, it's best if you try to not stay and pet them on top of their head, but just to pet them on the side, pet them under the chin, let them know that everything they're doing to keep their four feet on the ground is what you want. When you pet on top of the head, it's a little intimidating. And you want this to be a real love fest where the puppy wants to keep its four feet on the ground. Every time you pet your puppy, when they have four feet on the ground, they're learning not to jump up. Sometimes they just can't resist and they're going to jump up when you stand up. So then you walk away, walk behind a gate, walk out of the room so that your puppy knows that when they jump on you, you're gone. You're not anywhere near, and you're not gonna be petting them. If you're getting information from this video that's helpful, please press like to help you have a little bit more control of your puppy. You can have a harness and leash on your puppy. I have a harness and what I call a house line so that my dog or my puppy can't get that far away from me can't get that close to a person who they want to jump on. 
I can step on the house line, make sure they can't get close, and I can then add the second part to this, which will help your puppy not to jump up. And that's called putting the treat on the ground. Your puppy has already learned that when they approach you, that you pet them when their feet are on the ground. So let's add another incentive. Let's use their own dog food or treats. And as your puppy approaches you, put the food on the ground. Let them look down. If they're looking down, they can't jump up. And as they're eating the food, then you can pet them. So they're learning not only do they get petted when their feet are on the ground, they get their dinner. And you can literally use their dinner to help your puppy learn not to jump up. This is a great way to teach your puppy not to jump up on your family members. You have the harness and leash on, you have the food, and as your puppy approaches somebody in the family, start putting that food right down on the ground. Get your puppy to eat the food. Let the family member walk over and pet the puppy. So your puppy again knows, oh boy, petting and treats, all because I keep my feet on the ground. Your puppy is learning not to jump up. Here's the picture of the little black terrier jumping again. Now could you visualize if he had a harness and a house line on, puppy would never have had an opportunity to jump up. You would be putting food right on the ground and the person could be petting him. Or you could drop the food on the ground and you can pet your puppy. Telling your puppy, keep four feet on the ground and you'll get petted and you'll get a food reward. Another way you can help your puppy not to jump up is to use a filled Kong. I love Kongs and I use filled Kongs for so many things. Teach my puppy not to bite your fingers, help them during their teething. Now we're gonna use it to teach your puppy not to jump. So you hold the Kong, and as your puppy is eating the filling from the Kong, just like treats on the floor, you're feeding, your puppy is eating the food from the Kong, and you are petting them. Your dog is learning, you get many, many treats, and many rewards, and lots of love when you keep four feet on the ground. Four on the floor is a great exercise to teach dogs not to jump up and now, of course, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to teach them to sit. And let them know that they must sit for everything. Sit before they get their meal, before you throw a toy, before you pet them, before they go out the door. I always say that asking a dog to sit is like asking a child to say please. You want your puppy to realize they must sit before you will do anything for them. Here is a video of a Weimaraner waiting patiently to receive their treat for sitting. And here the puppy is being petted while they're sitting. So this dog is learning all good things happen when you sit. And here are multiple dogs sitting and waiting for their love and pets. So the first step is to teach your puppy to sit, to be petted. The next step is to teach your puppy to walk to you and sit to be petted. And as your puppy is sitting and you're petting them, you're gonna take one step backward, encourage your dog to follow you, and then ask them to sit. And when they sit, you're going to pet them. Now, since they're sitting, you can either feed them from your hand, but make sure your hand is low enough that you're not encouraging your dog to jump up for the treat. Or you can put the treat on the ground and have your puppy eat the treat while they're looking down at the ground. This is called a one-step sit, and you can practice this many times so that your puppy knows when you take a step backward, they're going to follow you. And when you stop, they're going to immediately sit. 
and then you're going to reward them, pet them, tell them how wonderful they are. We've talked about four on the floor. We've talked about teaching your puppy to sit. We've talked about the one step sit. Now this is called a six step sit. And that means that you need two people. One person with the puppy on a leash is feeding the puppy and the other person walks six steps away so that they are behind the puppy. As you feed your puppy, the person walks directly to your puppy and pets them. On the side, not on top of the head, just on their body. Then the person walks away. The next time, the person takes one step before you start feeding the puppy. You continue to feed your puppy the entire time while the person walks up to your puppy and pets them. Can you see what I'm doing? The next time the person takes two steps before you start to feed. The key is you are feeding your puppy the entire time that the person is walking to the puppy and petting the puppy, minus those first two steps. Next step, person takes three steps and walks to the puppy and pets them as you feed every step and the petting except for the first three steps. Very soon, your puppy will sit really still as the person walks six steps to your puppy and you're only feeding your puppy when the person is petting them. I can't demonstrate that because I'm still in COVID lockdown. So I have to detail it out for you. So you can do this with your puppy. We used to do this all the time in my puppy classes so that the puppy would learn as a person approaches, they would remain sitting as their owner fed them. And soon we were getting the puppies to sit rock solid while a person walked up to them all the way the six steps, petted them, and then the owner would be able to feed the puppy. This is a great exercise with two people. How to teach your puppy not to jump. Now here's something I need to mention, and I'll tell you a little story while I'm doing it. First, here's the black dog, the person encouraging the dog to come to them arms wide open and of course the dog jumps so this dog is then being petted so you are rewarding your dog for jumping up now my story is my uncle earl i was only about seven eight maybe nine at the time and he thought it was fun to call my dog over to him pat his chest and help and encourage my dog to jump up. Her name was Queenie, a little black spaniel of some sort. And um, he would call her and pat his chest and he wanted her to jump up. Well, I didn't want Queenie to jump up. Maybe I was 10, I don't know, I was young. And so I taught Queenie that when I pounded my chest, that meant sit. Next time Uncle Earl came to visit, he couldn't figure out why he couldn't get Queenie to jump. So you see, you can teach any dog if you reward them with food and reward them by petting them when their feet are on the floor. You can teach any dog to resist the temptation to jump. And of course, I would say, there are some people that are saying, but I want my dog to jump up on me. I like it. That's fine. Then put it on cue. What do I mean by that? Teach your dog to sit, they must sit, and once they get the cue, like let's cuddle, or give me a hug, whatever it is, that's their signal to jump up on you. You can do that. You can teach your dog quite easily, but then your dog won't be jumping on your grandmother or on a toddler. They'll walk up to these people and sit and yet you'll have your cuddle time with your dog. And one more thing I should say is, everyone has to be on board. Your dog, your puppy, can't be confused by having 
an Uncle Earl who lets the puppy jump on them, who encourages it. And everybody else is trying to get the puppy not to jump up. Everybody has to be on board to teach the puppy not to jump. That's only fair. Exercise is so important for your puppy. Throw a ball, play tug of war, play chase, all those things. In addition to chews, kongs, puzzle toys, everything will help your puppy to focus and to learn how to sit and not to jump up. And here's my question for you. How did you teach your puppy not to jump up? Please leave your answer in the comments below. Puppy biting also comes along with puppy jumping up. So here is a video you might enjoy. Puppy handling exercises, how to stop puppy biting. And also, and another video, how to stop puppy from biting and nipping kids. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember, subscribe and ring the bell so you receive all the episodes. Bye from Joyce at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.